Hi everyone. Sunday afternoon. Just a quick update. There's the little thing that I found oh, just a little while ago. I think it's a greenhouse. As I said in my last video. Just been working on this little watercourse here. Just uh, it got a bit cluttered up with leaves and sticks, so I just um, cleared it a little bit to help the water come through. The river has dropped a little bit actually. I noticed it's running a bit lower today. It hasn't rained really much over the last couple of days. And I was just standing here looking about and I thought, now that all the, the leaves have gone off of the trees, oh sorry, camera's caught in my coat. You can really see the village and that house there that you can see is actually the old train station. I think it's called Station House actually. And it's uh, Llanglidwen's used to have a train station a very long time ago. And uh, the yard there, you can just see the gates for it. Where's, where is it here? used to be a coal yard, it's a sawmill now, but it used to be a coal yard and the trains used to come through and stop there at Station House to deliver or pick up coal, I suppose delivering. Beautiful old building, so nice that it's been renovated so nicely. You can see the clouds are just starting to turn colour, the sun's going to start setting. I think it's just gone four. We've been collecting some more wood just there. A um, branch of an ash tree came down in our neighbour's field so he kindly said we could have it and uh, Jem went up and pieced it up with the chainsaw and then our neighbour helped us to bring it down with his tractor, it's, uh, which is a fantastic piece of equipment, it's really great. <clears throat> I haven't made any more inroads in here just because I've just got so much else going on, I just haven't really had much time. But I was just standing out here thinking to myself, I really need to make more time to be out here. Look at the magnolia buds. Getting ready for spring next year. I feel like I've just been in the house so much over the last week or so. Getting ready for craft fairs and, and stuff. I just have hardly been out in the land at all. Need to make a bit more effort to come out. I've been coming out to see the chickens though. Look at those beautiful cherry leaves. They turn such a gorgeous colour. Got my fennel here as well that I need to plant out. And this one here is a rhubarb, which obviously the leaves have died back now and I need to get him out into the ground. This was a honeysuckle that I, uh, that I rescued. And I've got loads of baby strawberry plants, which um, I keep meaning to put down the end of the track and uh, sell them. I was thinking about a pound each would be about right, don't you think? Yeah, I'll show you the chickens. Hi girls! They're happy girls, aren't you girls? Are you happy girls? Yeah. They're having such a good time in the leaves. And me and Emmy have been collecting up oh, probably three or four buckets of leaves a day to put in there and they just love scratching it all up. And they get all the little bugs and things. And I'm hoping within the next few weeks I'll be able to let them free range. 
but we're just uh, keeping them closed in for now just so that they know where home is. I don't want them to wander too far when we let them out. Especially because we've got a lot of foxes on the land. And we need to be a little bit more fox savvy. <laughs> and know where all the safe, you know, so that they can come home to a safe place in the evening. Hear that bird song? There's a blackbird somewhere. Bringing, oh, he's up here, look. He's in the sash tree. Oh, sorry, no, cherry tree. Can you see him there? Singing away. Beautiful. So lovely. Ah, oh, it's good to be outside. That's the uh, compost heap down there. I had some cardboard boxes from transporting the chickens actually, so I popped them on the compost heap for the moment. You can see that the bird feed is empty again, so I'll need to fill that up again. Though I'm really noticing now that I'm filling the bird feeders so much now. The birds are really starting to rely on them as the uh, cold weather's coming in. And then uh, they drop all the little seeds on the floor here. And all the little mice come and uh, eat it all up because we've got lots of mice, especially uh, in amongst the stone walling and stuff. And I'm pretty sure they're feasting on chicken, chicken corn and <laughs> lettuce pellets at the moment as well. Oh, Misty's not here, by the way. I think she's gone to bed. Misty is uh, not coping too good at the moment. She... I think she's very old and I think this last move maybe was just a little bit too much for her and I'm giving her lots of love and cuddles and extra straw in her nest box and porridge in the mornings and such things but I'm not sure she's gonna see very more many more days here at Abertaf unfortunately. I'll have to see how she goes. I'll keep you all updated. I wonder who lives in there. <coughs> Looks like somebody's home, doesn't it? I was reading about polecats the other day and thinking that this is just the perfect habitat for them. And I'd be really surprised if we don't have any polecats here. You can see all the ferns are really turning now. They're all starting to go down. There's a little robin under there. There he is. <laughs> Apologies, my camera's not very good. I bought this new phone because I thought it's a I don't know if I'm going to say this right, it's a Huaye, Huaye Android phone because apparently everybody's, you know, they're all the rage, everybody's saying how great the cameras are and when I phoned up my mobile phone company to upgrade they said, oh yeah, these are great phones, they've got fantastic cameras not this one, <laughs> this one's rubbish I'm not happy with it at all and unfortunately I've, you know, I've had it quite a long time now, so I don't think I can change my mind and send it back. So I'm kind of stuck with it for two years. 
which is a bit of a shame. But then I've always, I've got my digital camera, so when I want to take nice pictures, I tend to take them with the digital camera. And I'm starting to think about maybe saving up for a proper video camera. Isn't that gorgeous? The way that ivy's just in there. Look at the colours on those leaves. Beautiful. And still, look at this, still. Foxgloves. Still holding on. Whenever Emmy sees them, she says, No, Foxglove, go to sleep. <laughs> it's time to go to sleep, Foxglove. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful, though? We collected uh, a number of seeds of the foxgloves, but um, we just scattered them all around. I didn't save any. Yeah, there's not very many left in there anymore. Look at that. Honestly, camera. Oof. There's another little hole in there. I'd say that's probably a mouse. This tree certainly got a lot of life in it supports a lot of life. Wow, there is something about being outside. Oh, makes all those stresses melt away. Right, I better get these girls sorted. They're waiting for their dinner. Need to put some more leaves in and change their water. Like their water's got all leaves in it. Doesn't it girls? Should we get you sorted then girls? And then you can go to bed. Yeah. See they've got quite a lot of feathers missing. I think at first I thought they were molting, but I think like for instance this one with the she's got like a ring around her neck. I think they've been pecking each other's feathers. Girls, hey, mm, we've been pecking at each other. Yes, she looks quite funny, really. Looks like she's wearing a necklace, don't you? I bet you get a very cold neck. Who is that? I think that's uh, Gloria. Yeah, that's Gloria. Alright, anyway, I'll say good evening to you all now. Have a lovely rest of the weekend. A little bit left. I'll do another video soon. Bye now.